Thank you guys for coming out. This is the Comedy Lottery. My name is Demetrius Fields. I'm Austin Locke. And we are joined today by the great Power Reg Thomas, everybody. All right. <laughs> hell yeah, hell yeah. Dozens of comedians have thrown their names in the ring for the opportunity to showcase... No, no, What's happening? That way, that oh, okay. That All right. All right. uh, dozens of comedians have thrown their name in the ring for the opportunity to showcase their best three minutes of stand-up comedy. They will then be rated on a scale of one through ten by this panel of judges. Five is average. Uh, it's, it's a bell curve. Uh, the comedians with the three highest scores by the end of the night will perform one final joke, and then you, yes, you, the audience, will decide who goes home with the Comedy Lottery Jackpot. Austin, what is the Comedy Lottery Jackpot tonight? $357. Holy shit. Look at it. $357. $357. We're not play, paying you at all. That's right, crazy. Nah, that was, that was, I was, my next question was, how much do I get paid? You want uh, 20 off the top before we start? Absolutely. <laughs> okay, guys, it's $337. <laughs> Congratulations <laughs> to all of you. All right. So the way we like to start our show off is by having the person who won last week come out and do a set. Is Amir Arshad here? Yeah. Hell yeah. Make some noise for Amir, everybody. Give him some love. The first spot is tough. Amir, Come Amir, on. Amir, what did you do with last week's money? What? What did you do with the money last week? Rent, bro. He's poor. Times are tough. Yeah, Anyways, keep going for your hosts, everybody. Bro, you took rent money from <laughs> one of these comedians. Isn't that fucked up? <laughs> uh, all right, what do I want to talk about? I recently, I recently hosted a wedding, and it was an all-white wedding, and it was the first all-white wedding I've ever been to. So listen, if you're a person of color and you want to have fun in an all-white wedding, this is a fun game you can play. Uh, just stand by the entrance with your nice clothes on. They will all toss you your keys on the way in. And those are yours now to do <laughs> with what you want. But yeah, after I was done parking their cars, the the host of the wedding, the, the woman running it, she came up to me and she's like, hey, just so you know, uh, there's a guest here you have to stay away from because uh, he has PTSD. And he fought in the war in Iraq. And sometimes when he sees brown people, it sets off his post-traumatic stress. I was like, cool, I have current traumatic stress after you just told me that. <laughs> That's an insane thing to say to somebody. So I avoided the guy the whole wedding, and then they invited me to the after party. And I got there a little late, so I go to the after party. Uh, it's just the women outside hanging out. And then I'm like, where are the fellas at? They're like, oh, they're inside in the gun room. I was like, all right, a room full of white people and artillery, and I was the scary one <laughs> at this wedding. So I go in because I wanted to see it, and they're all like just playing with the guns. And none of them were loaded, but they're like, do you want to hold a gun? And I was like, fuck yeah, I want to hold a gun. So I'm holding this gun, and you feel very powerful while you're holding a gun. It's a cool experience. I highly recommend it. And as I'm holding it, the guy with PTSD walked in, and we like made eye contact. And at this point, I'm like, it's either me or him. <laughs> if I got to go full, ooh, I will do it, you know? But no, he was cool. He just, it was very cute. He was like, can I have a turn with the gun? Like it was a PS2 controller. I was like, sure, man, you can have a turn. So now he's waving this gun around. And then he's like, I think we should shoot this bad boy. Now I got out of there because I don't know if you meant me or the gun. <laughs> but I left my backpack just in case. You know what I mean? I blew them up. All right, that's my time. Thank you. Oh, yeah. Make some noise for him. Hell yeah, bro. That was funny as hell, man. Thank I don't really you. have a whole lot of notes for you. You look fucking... You look, do look like you have PTSD right now. You look great. Yeah. Uh, that was great. Fucking... Uh, it's also very funny to just call racism PTSD. I think that that's <laughs> hilarious. I tried that at another mic where I was like, that's not PTSD, that's racism. And they got really mad at me. So I just, <laughs> I just left that part out. Like, no, he was really sick. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough, dude. I mean, I don't have any notes. I thought that was great. No, for real. That was, dude, the f you set it up. You stepped all on one premise. Uh, yeah, no notes. Seriously, you really killed that shit, bro. Yeah, my favorite part was the whole, uh, and after after I parked their cars, I was like, that's a real good misdirection. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah dude. It's been it's been sick watching you because you've been coming to the show since like basically like it started. We're on like 18 weeks of this, and the motherfucker has gotten clearly better. Yeah, bro. I've been unemployed for 18 <laughs> weeks, so I've just <laughs> been here. <laughs> Yo, I mean, like, I'm just going to get into the show. I'm, I like that a lot. I'm going to give that one, uh, I'm going to give that one an 8. Dude, I'm going 9.5. I really liked it. I'm going to go eight. All right. Oh, yeah. He's going to go eight. Going to go eight. So you're at the top of the leaderboard. Make some noise for him. You got rid of the shot. mannequin? Huh? You got rid of the mannequin? Oh, did we get rid of the mannequin? Yo, James. Oh, hey. Can you turn the levels up a little? Yeah, I'll turn the levels up. That's how it's about to, actually. 
Thank you. Okay, thank you. Make some noise for James, everybody. He's got. He's Are filling we, in for we Noah. Give huh? We give, give him a seven. Yeah. Oh, he's reducing his number <laughs> to a seven. <laughs> You're yeah. Britain given. What the fire. fuck just happened? I brought the mannequin back out. <laughs> yeah, nah, you, you shouldn't have done that. You fucked up there, dog. I was... came in here making demands. Yeah, dude. Yeah, Get yeah. the fuck out of here. Go yeah. fill out a job application, you fucking bum. All right, 24.5. Uh, the second comedian of the night. Are you guys ready for this? Huh? Hello, hello, hello. There you go. He's fucking up everything back there. <laughs> right there. The this is the one, right? I, I sound louder now. This is this sounds way better. Yeah, that's right there, yeah. 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 Okay. Uh, yeah. Thank you, James. Well, I'm way too loud. That's All right, so I, how do you guys like Austin show? Oh, there goes Austin show. All right. Testing you, Austin levels. One, one, two, three. Yeah. That's there. Yeah, whatever. I know, I know. All right, now's not the time for bits. It's very hot in this room. These people are getting visibly pissed off at us. <laughs> uh, also, could you light the comics uh, two minutes, please? Thank you. Oh my God, this yeah, is yeah. two minutes when they are like they've done two is minutes. This of comedy. Is this a sketch? <laughs> no, dude. This is what happens when you fucking hire white people, dude. We should have had a fucking immigrant on this shit. And, uh, instead, we got a motherfucker with a bachelor's degree who don't know how to act. All right, I'm just kidding. Thank you so much for being here. Please do not sabotage the show from the back. Please light people after two minutes have passed into their set. Are you guys ready for the second comedian of the show? Let's go. Possibly going home with three hundred and thirty dollars. Put your hands together for Raffi Truman, everybody. Raffi, where you at? How we doing, y'all? How we doing? Uh, some of you may know me. Some of you may know who I am. Uh, my name is Raffi Truman. I'm an American rapper, actor, comedian, designer, and an amateur sperm donor. Um, this is my sperm. Um, I have been collecting it and uh, donating it on the black market since the ninth grade. Um, I actually dropped out of school to, don't, to do this in the ninth grade to follow my dream. And I've fallen on hard times recently as I found out you need to be a college graduate to donate sperm. <laughs> and you're laughing at that. All right, I'm just gonna pose with it for a second. <laughs> All right, that's all I got. You guys have a good one. That's, that's it? That's all you got? <laughs> you, Dude. you were like, jizz bag, three minutes. James, don't bother timing them, okay? They'll handle it themselves. I don't know how to say this, but when you bring a bag of jizz on stage, you gotta taste it, you know what I mean? No, right? Like, just that's just a comedic note. You brought the gun, you gotta shoot it, you know? Drink the jizz. No. Drink the jizz. I can't drink, drink the jizz. Drink the jizz, why not? Drink the jizz, it's your jizz, it's not gay, drink it! It's also for sure almond milk. It's like, this is my whole career in this bag. If I drink this jizz, I have nothing. You were really banking on that spank, buddy. That was, uh... How much, how much money did you put in here? I did 15. $15. Did, Guys, he paid $15 <laughs> to bring his jizz on stage. That's pretty... Yeah. Man, I'm uh, working I'm this out. I'm still taking this shit in. <laughs> hey, yo, boss. <laughs> you can't have a dude come nah, up on stage yeah. with a bag full of nuts. I don't You're know like, why he me... did that. I don't know why. <laughs> what made you think that people was going to laugh when you did this? I mean, <laughs> did they not? They <laughs> laughed at my question. Make some noise for the jizz, y'all. <laughs> we was The whole front row was uncomfortable. We, we, we wasn't sure what she was going to do about that shit. This is the splash zone. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, <right now. laughs> what, what is this like? All right, so like, do you got, do you want to know what it is? No, I want to know how like what the what the like how does this end? Like, like how do you? Like, <laughs> he, w he wants to know why this <laughs> is. It's a new bit. I'm working it out. Okay, I cool. to <laughs> try it. Came to the lottery. What's oh up, my right? god, you look like you're not allowed to sell vapes to high school anymore. You sell anymore drugs or something? Because you're not allowed to go within 500 feet of the school. That shit is. That's weird. fair. You look like Blueface's kind cousin. <laughs> That's I like funny. it. Thank you. Hell yeah. Yeah, All bro. Right. I mean, yeah, that mm. was interesting. Thank you, sir. Thank you. I got my SNL audition next week. I'm working on my good shit. <laughs> you look like you sick at tech decks, <laughs> but terrible at fingering women. <laughs> Just can't make them come, but you can do a kickflip easy. I mean, uh, ask your yeah. girlfriend. But, uh, I mean, dude, I'm not going to lie to yeah. you. 
I respect that you came up here with a bag of cum. <laughs> I do respect that you yeah, did like, it. Yeah, like, I want to call you lazy, but you're not. So it's like... <laughs> yeah, man. Um, I mean, I'm going to be honest with you. I just needed more from you. It couldn't just be only that. If it was something else, you get a higher score. But, like, this, this is high, but I'm going to give you a four for that bag of cum. <laughs> It's not ready yet. This is fucking. You also, yeah, no, it's got nine more months, and then after that, it should be good. You got that name tag from here. Yeah. So you left bag with the, you were like, oh, it's just it's just a bag of cum right now. No one can see what it is. Yeah. You had to label it, it here. Labeled it for you. Got it. Mm -hmm. What is it? It's it's paste. I'm really into paper mache right now. <laughs> no further questions for. <laughs> I'm gonna give this nigga and his kids a zip zero. <laughs> <laughs> Very fair. And that is fair. What are you thinking, Austin? I said four. You said four? All right, yeah. you got an eight. Technically, you're on the leaderboard, so slap that jizz name tag on that mannequin. Make some noise for Rafi as he gets off stage. Are you ready for your third comic of the night? Put your hands together right now for JJ Arias, everybody. Yeah, yeah, what's up? How y'all doing? How y'all doing? Yeah. Yo, man. You know, I got some jokes, but I just want to get this out the way. You know, I'm kind of mad at everybody here right now. Like, I guarantee you, in this room, all of you have denied my cousins when they're selling candies, bro. <laughs> Every single person here, bro. You can't afford a Milky Way? Come on. I bet if it was like a Milky Way flavored vape, you'd buy it, but no. Damn. I don't know, man. You know, I was trying to grow this mullet out, you know, because I'm trying to, like, you know, get with some white women, you know. But um, I don't know, man. I don't think they like me. See, white, white women don't really go for Spanish dudes like me. They don't go for, like, the South American, you know. They don't see me, and they're like, oh, my God, Papi. They're like, oh, my God, my DoorDash is here, you know. <laughs> like, I know what I look like. My friends tell me. My friends say I look like an illegal that migrated straight to a hot topic. Like straight there, yo, and that's mad. That's mad foul, cause you know, like, who even shops there anymore? You know, uh, you know what I'm saying? Um, but yeah, man, I'm from. I grew up. I was born and raised in Bushwick. Anyone from Bushwick here? Anyone know? Surprising, but um, I was uh, born and raised in Bushwick, man. I was there. You know, it was a lot more like, uh, I don't. I was just say the word. It was more ghetto. Like when I was like growing up, you know. But then we all know, like, gentrification happened, you know? The gays moved in. So I don't know how I went from, started from the bottom to living with the bottoms. Like, it's crazy. <laughs> but shit just happens like that, bro. Um, yeah, man. I don't know, man. Let's go back to immigration, you know? <laughs> That's a hot topic. Um, uh, so, uh, yeah. I mean, it just feels like we need to solve that, man. Cause I'm, I'm not the guy, but like, we need to solve that. Like, like word, man. It's been a problem since I was like a, a kid. Since I was a jit, man. Immigration, bro. I remember as a little kid, bro, I would see on the news, 300 immigrants denied into America. And my mom would try to explain it to me. She'd be like, see, JJ? That's why no one came to your birthday party. <laughs> your cousin's gonna come. They got a, uh, they couldn't enter. Um, yeah, man, I don't know. I've been thinking about, you know, auditioning for that show Euphoria, because I look young, you know? But like, and I was like, I'm going for a very specific role as one of the girl's tampons, you know? I'm waiting for a call back in blood. Um, <laughs> damn. Yo, shout out to, I heard like, I swear I heard like one laugh there, but shout out to him, bro. I'll see y'all later. <laughs> Yo, make some noise for Jay. Stay on the stage, buddy. Stay on the stage. We got to talk to you for a little bit. I know yeah. you got a fucking Pierce the Veil concert you need to go to <laughs> after this. God damn. You look like the love interest in an Omar Apollo music video. Yeah, I will definitely say that uh, jokes was the right way to go about this event. I'm happy you did that. <laughs> Respect. Respect. Jokes was the... That was a good strategy to tell jokes at a joke event. That was dope. Mm -hmm. You were funny as shit too, bro. You was, was, bro. It was. That yeah. last one, that last bit. What was that one though? <laughs> I don't even remember what I said. Oh uh, yeah. What was it about? It was a. You wanted to be the tampon at the, the tampon. I yeah, it was that. going so smooth, and then you just, <laughs> and then you just said that in a room full of women. Why? That was <laughs> bro, man. 
I'm 24, man. Come on. You, you started out by being like, yeah, white women don't like me, and then you kind of proved why a little bit. Hey, yeah, man. But, yeah, I'm you waiting. funny as hell, though. That shit's yeah. good, bro. No, for I real. Appreciate it, bro. Where are you from? Oh, you said you're from Brooklyn. How long have you been doing comedy? Uh, I'd say like eight to nine months. Eight to oh, nine word. months. Word, okay. A baby. That was fucking fantastic for nine months. <laughs> God damn. No, I mean, like. Yeah, you had really, you had like, yeah, don't know nigga do jokes for eight months. Got like three good jokes. So, yeah, he's real good. Yeah, no, you for sure had three good jokes. Uh, I'm going to go and, I mean, we don't adjust because people have been doing it for a shorter time. We stopped doing it. I think that you were funny, bro. I'm going to give that one a 6.5. I was I was thinking six also, yeah. That was an 8.5 at least. That was really? Oh, hell yeah. Hell yeah. Well, you're on the leaderboard. You can slap your name tag up there. All right, make some noise for Gay So Pluma, everybody. Thank you. All right. <laughs> Real quick, I don't have a name tag. So. It's okay. You don't, it's not that big of a deal, okay, bro. It's sorry. fine. You're good. You're good. You guys ready for the fourth comic? <laughs> guys, give it up for... He's already been up here. Oh, has he? My bad. <laughs> yeah, no, it's cool. It's cool. Oh, I'm sorry. Damn, he broke that <laughs> shit. Uh, all right, put your hands together right now for Zach Deradek. Derek? Derek? <laughs> Hell yeah. Yeah. How's everybody doing? I, uh, I think flirting is really hard. I think it's, uh, I think it's difficult because 10% of guys are really good at it and the rest of us just have to pretend, you know? For me, there's nothing more relieving than showing up to a party and there's just no women there, you know? You get to pretend to be upset about it to your boys to look cool, you know? You're like, wow, y'all couldn't get one girl here. You must really have no game, you know? One of the guys that definitely has game is like, Oh, uh, no, dude, they're coming in 30 minutes. You better lock in. It's game time. Dude, all the relief you just felt comes flooding back. You're like, good, yes. I did not want another guy's night. That would have sucked, you know? Now you got 30 minutes to figure out how you're going to develop some charm for the first time in your life, you know? Best you can think of is like, what if I got really drunk? Is that something, you know? Pro tip, it's not something. That's never worked for anyone, right? I know what you're thinking, right? No, I have gotten a girl really drunk. It works. I promise you, you watch the game tape on that, you're not gonna be happy with what you see. You know, you'd be out here being like, did it heaven when you fell from hurt? <laughs> you know? No, that's uh... <laughs> um, did it heaven when you fell from hurt? No, I had, a, I had a buddy, or actually he was the worst guy I know really. He, uh, <laughs> he would <st> <laughs> Dude, he would stumble up to women at the party, just kind of like, can I have a kiss? <laughs> Dude, it worked a shocking amount of the time. Dude's out here pl just taking shots in the dark, like, come on, <laughs> you know? Dude's playing Battleship, right? He's like, B4, I black out, do you love me? <laughs> they don't love you, buddy. <laughs> they don't. Uh, no, did, uh, he took the statistics on how often he did it versus how often it worked. Dude went seven for 21. Dude's batting 3,300 out here. That's, that's a Hall of Fame baseball career right there. Brother's out casually out hitting Jeter. <laughs> all right, guys, that's all I got. Thank you so much. <laughs> Keep it going for him. All right. Uh, yeah, sure. So take a seat. Take a seat. <laughs> all right, where are you? Legs is weak. <laughs> where are you from? How long have you been doing it, man? Uh, I am from Ohio, and I've been doing it for four months. He was oh. here to, he's the, like, eight brothers homeschooled guy. Yeah. Oh, shit. I couldn't tell, bro. He's trying to figure out his vibe. No, he's yeah, because you're too likable for a guy that has been homeschooled. I'll say that. But, yeah, man. No, dude, way better is that. You fucking came with the heat this time, dog. I fucked with it. I see James touching buttons right there. Hello, hello. Thank you so oh, much. Perfect. I appreciate that. It's perfect. All right. Yeah, uh, yeah man. Uh, four months? Yeah. Yeah, four Damn, months. Damn, that's crazy, Damn, bro. Damn, what the fuck? These four monthers are fucking lapping some of these dudes <laughs> who've been doing it for like six years. That's kind of sad to me. No, I, I appreciate you guys. Last time you were like, you got a decent stage presence, but you said my writing sucks. So I've just kind of like been in the tank the last month trying Hell to figure yeah. it out. Yeah, I definitely wasn't going to say that again, for sure. Oh, really? <laughs> just right, it's still as bad? No, it was uh, It was better. It definitely... Yeah, he, got, he got presents like he funny, and then you and then you like, oh, that's just privilege, but... <laughs> <laughs> 
But like you clearly want to be funny, so like yeah. No, I think like especially compared to the last time, it was a lot better, bro. Like seriously, okay. yeah. And they said it right, but the presence you have, like it feels like young Pete Holmes a little bit. Like you know, up there you're so likable, a little goofy. Dude, that, I'm telling you, that is crazy. This I get so you call the name, I'm like, oh fuck, here we go. <laughs> Nah, dude, that was like it was great. Like I, I respect. I thought he was about to say G Williger's next. <laughs> <laughs> All shucks, y'all didn't need to. You look like a modern crony. Drats, drats. <laughs> you look like Peter Parker in a John Waters movie. <laughs> I don't know. I know the Peter Parker. I don't know what John Waters. He That's... made gay shit. There we go. <laughs> That's a good way to describe it, right? I think I, I, think I nailed that. <laughs> he, do, he, do, he do be making gay shit, though. Yeah. Uh, yeah, man. I think, like, once again, your delivery is great. And that's for a lot of people, that's, like, the hardest thing to get. Like, I feel like you do kind of have your voice and to be four months in the game is great. I do think your writing still does need to be tightened up a little bit. We were here for it. Your act, yeah. like, to even just do an act on your bit, like, a lot of people just skip that part. That made it very entertaining to see. But, like, that bit is closer. It's close, but it's not ready yet. But it was still really yeah, okay. Yeah. Yeah, and thank I, you. I also yeah. think you're talking about stuff now that's like way more like likable and more you. Like the whole like oh, and there's only dudes at a party. Like yeah. I've been there. You know what I mean? Like I get <laughs> yeah. that. Like and yeah, you're really like like you're doing way more like personable stuff. And I think you're on the right track for sure. Dog. Thank you. Thank you ever right. seen the movie Top Gun? Yeah. You look like you was in Bottom Gun. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, please, you can get me back if you want to. That way, I'm not just a mean person. Uh, let's see. The <laughs> room is spinning. He has no idea what's happening. Like, uh, yeah, dude. Um, I. You guys, any anything else you want to uh, say? Yeah, that shit was alright, man. <laughs> you got any advice for him? Be better. <laughs> uh, try to be a little bit like not 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 that you weren't original, but like just be more in depth about what like like about the anxiety you felt about like trying to holler at girls or like if you have a funny story about that. Just add okay. into it, like you just had, like yeah, you just, you clearly just started writing that joke, but like keep pulling out all the stuff okay. that makes it original to you. Uh, yeah, I was thinking it was close to done, so I'm, this is it's good. Not. <laughs> You've been doing comedy that for four shit. months. It's that, not, was, yeah. that shit felt like an introduction to a joke. Like, really? Yeah. Okay, all yeah. right. I think the did it heaven line was really like funny, but it also opens up for you got at least two more. You know, fuck it, rule of thirds. Yeah. Throw two more funny phrases in there. Okay. Just start tagging shit up a little bit more. But okay. you're fucking on your way. I'll give that one a six. Thank you. Yeah, I'm a, I'll go 6.5. Thank you. Yeah, six. All right, six. Uh, Hell yeah. yeah, you're on the leaderboard. Go ahead and put your name up there. Got an 18.5. Make some noise for him. What was his, what, what was his name again? Bro? What was your name again? Zach Drake. Zach. We lost your little card. And the next guy coming to the stage, make some noise for Brendan Smith. Brendan. Brendan. Is he here? Oh, yeah, guys. Make some noise. Keep it going for him as he gets up here. So guys, I'm thinking of becoming Jewish, not for like any religious or philosophical reason, I'm just already circumcised, so like why not, you know? Like getting circumcised and not becoming Jewish is like having the usher rip your ticket, then not seeing the show. Except in this case, the show is a space laser, so I really want to get in there, you know? I don't know, my friends are getting really spiritual these days. I have this one friend who believes in the ancestors. She's like, our ancestors watch over and guide us and they can talk to us, which is cool for her. But I could never talk to my ancestors because they work in mills and factories and coal mines. And I do DoorDash. <laughs> so they'd be talking to me like I worked 16 hours in a dark pit. I stormed Normandy. And I'd just be like, I drove a cookie 20 miles today. <laughs> like, I don't know, I'm, I'm weird. I have a weird vibe. I have the vibe of like a little league coach who doesn't have a kid on the team. You know? <laughs> like, I look like I say goofy stuff when I see girls naked. <laughs> Like I look I, like I tell a girl she has a humdinger of a butt or something. I don't know. <laughs> like I don't know. I think part of the reason I'm so awkward is I have a speech impediment. I went to speech therapy for a while, but you could tell it didn't work. But the way I pronounced speech therapy. <laughs> I went I went for nine years of speech therapy. Every year I got an F. Yeah, and not a lot of, pe not a lot of people notice, but when you get an F in speech therapy, it's actually spelled T H. <laughs> But like, it, it sucks, it sucks. Cause when you have a lisp, there's only two options. You could be gay or be Mike Tyson. <laughs> and like, I'm obviously not, e well, I'm not one for sure. I'm not one for sure. I might, I might be Mike Tyson, but. <laughs> but like a lot of people, they try to comfort me. They say, Brendan, you don't sound like you have a speech impediment. You just sound like a, you have an accent. Like people say, I sound like I'm from Boston, which that used to make me feel better until I visited that city. <laughs> Now I realize that's not a compliment towards me, that's just an insult towards Boston. 
That's just them saying that everyone in that town sounds disabled. <laughs> that's messed up. That's like if you went up to a midget and you're like, you don't look like you're a midget, you just look like you're from Loompa Land. Like that, <laughs> it does not make me feel better. <laughs> like saying I'm from Boston just basically is a nicer way of saying I sound like I'm an R word who can't say my R words, you know? <laughs> Like, I think the worst part about having a speech impediment is not even cool stereotypes. Like, other groups of cool stereotypes that bounce out bad ones. Like, autistic people are being good at math. Black people have big penises. White people have credit. Like, there's good stereotypes, you know? So I've been trying to start one that dudes with speech impediments are better at eating girls out. Yeah. So guys, spread, the, spread this. Join the movement. Get this going. Next time you see someone getting bullied over the way they talk, be like, no, their tongues are meant for better things. <laughs> okay, I'm Brendan Smith. That's all I got. <laughs> 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 Hell yeah. Brendan Smith, guys. You get a lot of jokes in a small amount of space. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. yeah. That's a good compliment. Yeah. yeah. I don't know how to take compliments at all. If he criticized me, I'd be, I'm down for that. But Are, are you into tunnels? <laughs> <Am> I, <laughs> I'm in the trains. They go through tunnels. <laughs> <laughs> all right. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> cool. Let's uh, let's get into your set, man. Uh, I thought it got stronger as you were going through it, mm -hmm. for sure. Like the Jew Jewish circumcised joke, it was too weak to be an opener, for sure. Right. And it, I think it also like a guy tried to do that shit like last week on the show, and it bombed for him too. So, uh, you know, I don't know. I wish I'd known that, but yeah, <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. I like the DoorDash one. I thought the humdinger thing was funny, though. The little league coach, like who doesn't have a kid, is like. For sure, accurate. Like that, <laughs> like that is what you look like. That also, like that joke is like, you know, that's like a like a Reddit joke. Like that's something uh, like we've heard a bunch. Humdinger was funny as hell. Uh, I just need a little bit more originality on it. But I I really like the whole bit about the the speech therapy thing. Right. I didn't think it, it was done yet, but I think that it was on its way. It's true to you. It was good to watch, so I enjoyed it. All right. I liked the, the Mike Tyson uh, gay joke. I thought that was really funny. It does feel like you need a few more lines of the like how you might be like Mike Tyson. Like you're on the spectrum of Mike Tyson or whatever. Right. Like, yeah. Yeah. But like I like I just I felt like that was a premise. Right. You know, it feels like you set up a really good premise and you kinda like and it's a it's a punchline also, but it feels like it could be a whole new thing. Yeah. Right. Also, exactly. Mike Tyson is gay. Like Michael Tyson. <laughs> I, dis watch I disagree fully. I think he's the, the straightest man that's ever existed. Here's a Mike Tyson quote for you. Uh, I'm gonna fuck you in your ass until I you mean, love me. I mean, cocaine makes you say a lot of stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I knew you was gonna bring that one up. <laughs> he yeah. said that and said word to Allah. Like, <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's gay for sure. My bad. That's. <laughs> oh, here's one from last week. <laughs> Jake Paul, I, I, I see you doing TikTok dances. It gave me an erection. <laughs> He's, oh, yeah, he did say that, didn't yeah, he? Yeah, he's, no, he's dude, gay. He's, I forgot yeah, about I'm that I'm not one. a monster. He just is gay, and I'm cool <laughs> with that uh, for sure. Yeah, uh, I, th I thought you wrote a lot of good jokes. Um, I'm going to keep it a bean, bro. You got the vibe of a nigga who, like, beat us if you don't like how this goes. So. <laughs> <laughs> we can take him easy. Right. Got me. Oh, my gosh. One of you guys got me. Any of you. 100%. Them. You got the vibe of somebody who uh, kicks somebody out of Guitar Center for playing Stairway to Heaven. <laughs> That's your vibe. Man, this yeah. is a bowling alley. But, uh... <laughs> Uh, yeah, this was all right. This was. Let me see. Oh, he. I wrote down the humdinger. All the jokes. No, the humdinger. The mic. You know. Yeah, bro. I'm gonna go ahead and yeah, 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 work on that speech therapy joint. That's the one. All right. All that other shit, kind of. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're good on that other shit. Bro. What was this last joke? What was this one? The R word joke. Yeah, that's all. That's all with the speech therapy joint. Yeah. Yeah, that speech therapy joint got like. Got like three jokes to it. Yeah, like keep working on that. But mm -hmm. Oh yeah, this, THF this, is really funny too. <laughs> I like that. Yeah, this little league shit. Yeah, bro, niggas getting called pedophiles left and right right now. You gotta let that joke go. <laughs> and the DoorDash, homie, homie, like two comments before you had a better DoorDash joke anyway. So let that go. Outside of that, good haircut. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's that. Yeah. I'm okay, not, we gotta vote now. We gotta give him a number. Yeah. Uh, yeah. What you thinking? Seven. Seven? Ooh, uh, seven point five for Austin. I'm gonna go lower. I'm gonna go five. Uh but I think you might be on the leaderboard. Yeah, you're on the leaderboard. You just beat out Zach. You got a what do you mean nineteen point five, so make some noise. Nineteen point five. Him. And Nick has a note for us. Yeah, what's up? What is Do you have a comics ticket in your pocket? I do not. I put it in the thing. 
Somebody being a little bitch in the crowd. I'm who fired. who wrote that? I'm taking one ticket out for whoever made Nick do that. Yeah, facts. Yo, it's we. It's been too many men. We. I'm gonna keep drawing until we have a lady. You two can small talk until that happens. So when when Demetrius asked you to do the show, what, did you expect it to be like this, or what were you expecting? Uh, I I I didn't know it was gonna be like this, but I knew it was gonna be good because he throws good shows. He does throw oh, good thank shows. You, thank you, thank he, you. Do, he does throw good shows. Mm -hmm. When I when I found out I had to judge other people, I was like, okay, that's like yeah, that's natural to me. <laughs> and they're like, yeah, you got you get shit on the comedians. I was like. Ah, yeah, but the crowd is real dope. Thank y'all for coming out. Mm -hmm. Y'all real dope. Oh, yeah, and, uh, Dude, this yeah, for real. And everyone who keeps coming back, I know there's a couple people here who have been here a bunch. So shout and, out like, to I'm you guys. I'm a real comedy nerd, so like I like this. Like I, I really sit down with everybody and rewrite these jokes. Yeah. Just, like, yeah, 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 totally. No, Dude, I feel you. The wage gap is a parent. I am pulling names. I can't get one single female. In Should we here. just do yo know, first woman who can go on stage gets it? Yeah. Give me hot. Huh? Whoever first woman to get on stage gets to do a set. Yeah, Congratulations. First woman on stage gets to do a set. All right, perfect. What's your name, friend? Alexis. Hell Give yeah. it up for Alexis, Vincent everybody. Four. I'm sweaty. All right. Because I ran? All right, fuck you guys. <laughs> Woman up here talking. You guys like that? No? It's okay. Uh, I think autistic people have the correct reaction to eye contact. That's okay, take it in. It's an opinion. Uh, I don't know, personally for me, I believe eye contact is for only two people. Your mother and uh, anyone that's seen your cum face. <laughs> yeah, that's it. I don't know, eye contact feels like a sexual advance. Stop looking over here. <laughs> yeah. I don't know, I, uh, you guys like getting high? How we feel, yes. Oh my God, getting high in your apartment? Mm, that's a Tuesday. Yeah, it's good. Uh, I don't know, Step, w take one step outside, open the door, peek out into the world. It starts getting scary. Mm. I'm really out of breath, oh my God. I regret running and being a woman. Yeah, I don't know, it's like, uh, <laughs> If you've never been high in public, just uh, imagine that someone's placed you in witness protection. Yeah, trying to blend in, seem nonchalant. <laughs> but there's a problem, because uh, pretty sure someone might be looking for you. They might find you. Yeah, uh, as a lady, the only other time, I'm not scared of a lot of things, but the only other time I've been full of fear like that is when I have to take a shit right after sex. <laughs> oh, what? Where are my women with bowels? <laughs> yeah, you're on the bed, you're trying to look chill, into whatever he's into. <laughs> oh my God, I love World of Warcraft so much. <laughs> but you have to... Make a plan, right? Ladies, we got a plan, so what do you do? Pull out the UTI card, right? <laughs> but you have to plan further. What do you have? You have to get out of that room without him getting a glimpse of your ass while it's clenched like a loaf of focaccia. <laughs> All right, time for bread. <laughs> is, that, is that how you end all sets? Just nope. time for bread? <laughs> What was your name again, one more time? Alexis Ramirez. Alexis Ramirez. Make some noise for Alexis Ramirez, everybody. All right, how long have you been doing comedy? Where are you from? South Carolina, two years. All right, so you deserve what's about to happen. Uh, Go ahead, yeah. That was rough, buddy. <laughs> I ran up here. That's no, no. It's fucking 12 feet. There's no way you're that unathletic. That's crazy. I am. All right, I do believe you. Uh, yeah, fuck you. <laughs> yeah, fuck me. I think, um, I mean, dude, I'm going to be honest with you. Like, that was that. I really like the focaccia joke. That really made me laugh. What is focaccia? Because like three niggas knew what that was. Like, <laughs> it's, it's like the it's bread with the they like have holes in it. The dimply bread. Dimply okay. bread. Mm. Yeah, yeah. I can show you later. No, no, no. Your ass or the focaccia? Both. <laughs> mm. Buick, we're not here for that right now. Um, <laughs> Thank you. Uh, yeah, man. I gotta say that like that, that, that was tough because like. Number one, the like the autistic eye contact joke. 
I don't know. I wasn't feeling it because it's like not everybody who look at you want to fuck you for sure. You know what I mean? Like it's a weird. Oh, no one that looks at me wants to fuck me. That's not what <laughs> uh, the joke's about. I think uh, you had jokes and Fair punch point. Lines. You had jokes and punchlines. For one, like just like the jokes you tell, they you need to have, like let your personality come through in them. So you gotta like you, you, the timing is whatever, but you gotta like say them with like a right cadence to so, like we know like okay this is when she feels away about it like you kept it pretty monotone, delivery wise, but like I think the material like like if you like flush it out would be pretty funny. You just you gotta be more like you don't feel uncomfortable, but like you def, you definitely didn't write those jokes all the way out to what you wanted to be, and then um yeah just your cadence just like you know like it just helps the crowd stay engaged with you and, and like the ride you trying to take us on. Uh huh. <laughs> I think. Yeah, well, I, I mean, you. I like your confidence after the set. I think yeah. I can tell that you're a very funny person. I think you just gotta fucking hit the notepad and keep writing uh, more shit. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. I feel like. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong. But I feel like the, the, after the first joke didn't give it what you got. You kind of got like clenched up and like you kind of like altered the rest of it because of it a little bit. Yeah. And it feels like that kind of like you can't be. You know what I mean? If the first one doesn't work, just you gotta sell the second one harder. Well, you know what well, I mean? Like, how often were you doing comedy in South Carolina? Yeah. Uh, like five days, five days a week. I moved here a year ago. All right. Yeah. Um, yeah. Well, a lot of that. It's okay. Like, don't feel like you have to be nice. I, I don't know what's happening. Yeah, that but shit just felt nothing like, we've said has been nice. A lot of that shit felt like a lot of that shit felt like a diary entry more than like some jokes. You gotta just. You look like you work in an auto body shop, but you only fix Subarus. <laughs> yes. Yeah. I'm actually not gay. Sorry. Then why are you doing all that? I'm actually... <laughs> I'm running out of clothes. <laughs> so what do you do? You just steal them from the, your hinge dates? Uh, no. <laughs> nah, I'm not here to shit on this girl. I think you should just write some more. I think you should just write some more and just... The better you know your jokes, the more confident you'll be able to deliver them. Will you shit on me after? It, okay. So. Yeah. I do like, like her. A B. I I like, her. like a B.I.G. Like a B.I.G. sketch. I do <laughs> like her. I do like her. I think that you are a funny person. Uh, but that being said, I'm going to give that one a two. Yeah, I'm going to go one. Going to go one. Okay, what are you thinking, Rich? Uh, uno. All right, Uno. But you know what? Like, just keep writing. Come yeah. back. Please. Thanks for doing keep it again. Yeah. Thank you so much for doing it. All right. Uh, Wait, before we do this, just so we don't have to do it again during the show, let's just do one more woman. First one to the stage. <laughs> First one to the stage. Let's do one more. All right, here we go. <laughs> oh shit! Oh, no, let oh, them shit. go. Let them fight. Yo, <laughs> dog, it's Israel versus Palestine all over again. <laughs> nah, go ahead, go ahead. One after, one after another. Please. What's your, what's your name? Zar. Guys, Zar. give it up for Zar. Zar. Hi, my name is Zar. I'm from Afghanistan. You probably can't tell because. I'm speaking. <laughs> yeah, I'm also bisexual, and my Muslim parents are super supportive. They let everyone know that my pronouns are slut slash whore. <laughs> yeah, I used to get called a lot of slurs growing up, but it's so hard to get mad when the words in Farsi are just so beautiful. Like I always used to get called kushad. Everyone say it. Kushad. So that means faggot. <laughs> 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 Drag you all down with me. Oh my god. <laughs> and the literal translation of that is wide asshole. <laughs> That's so beautiful. Say it again. <laughs> yep. Um, so, some trauma dumping. My ex boyfriend died last year. Damn. Yeah. It sucks that you can't pick which one. <laughs> <laughs> Because if it were up to me, I would pick the one with the lisp. <laughs> People get really tight about that. And I'm like, shut the fuck up, okay? You weren't there during sex when he was like, whose pussy is this? Whose pussy is this? Whose pussy is this? Now I only like pussy because of him. That's funny. Um, I'm trying out a new joke. It's like the Drake. What's a Drake joke? Do you guys want to hear it? This is a, I'm trying this out. Okay, don't judge me. <laughs> Judging. <laughs> um, it's not fully developed though. <laughs> like most of the girls he goes for. <laughs> yeah. Um, so before comedy I used to model and like peak of my career was I was in two Drake music videos. Don't worry, I wasn't twerking because they asked me to stop. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, you're so bad at that. 
But I'm from Toronto, so it's like a normal thing for us to go to his house and have parties and all that stuff. So when you first enter Drake's house, the first thing you see, okay, first thing, I'm not even joking, is rows and rows of candy. <laughs> I wonder which age range of women that's for. <laughs> but I experienced something really traumatic there. Like, it was something traumatic that started with the letter P. It wasn't pedophilia, it was paranormal activity. There was a girl there and she was picking things up with her mind. Like lifting, I, I swear to God guys, she was lifting things up. It was so strange. <laughs> it was the strangest thing I'd ever seen. <laughs> yeah, on a scale of one to 10, I would say she's an 11. <laughs> that was a shitty show, <laughs> that was a shitty show. But yeah, uh, honestly, I don't think grooming's bad if they're poor. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, I'm glad Palestine won that one. We have to win something, we're losing the war. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yeah, yeah. you guys getting some noise for her. Yo. God damn, you may got some filler in your lips, but not in your act. That was great. <laughs> that was a fun time. Uh, I thought the... Uh, I mean, I really don't have notes on your material. The whole first half of your shit was great. Until you got to the Drake Mansion bit, it just felt like you just needed to make it more of a big deal that you were actually there. So yeah, were you actually there? Yeah, I'm from Toronto. It's like, it's not like crazy. I know a lot of people from Toronto. It's not, it's pretty crazy. <laughs> <'Cause> <laughs> so we're all at Drake's house. I'm like, no, yeah. niggas. <laughs> <laughs> That's so crazy, dude. Yeah, no, it would have been way funnier if it was just believable. And if you were actually there, like, fucking... Yeah, that's hey, why wouldn't it be believable? Because it's Drake's house. What do you mean, why? I don't know. Because, first of all, there's no joke to it. you just telling us you were at Drake's house. And then, like... No, that was... that was no, Well, I was in his music video. That's how I was in the... Like, okay. you know, we're in the same friend groups now and everything. No, so. I do believe that you did it. I'm saying when you set it up in your act, you need to sell it in a way that's more believable because it just was like, oh, this is obviously just set up punch because you've had so much set up punch but all of it's true none of it's fake right <laughs> all right all right so hey, we're i don't just rap about this no no, no no wait 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 this, so this is the one thing um yeah yeah like that drake that drake shit just wasn't sure, funny just take it. that's all we're saying i like, was treating this like an actual open mic no though, this is the, but like the first the afghan drink was joint the yeah all that shit was dope when you got us all to say faggot that was crazy <laughs> <laughs> i was like she's on to something <laughs> Did you write that down here? I wrote down I write down all the jokes yeah. just so I can remember while I'm going through it. Oh wow. Yeah, You're that quick. Drake joke just was not it just took a left turn from what the set was going to be and then um I told you guys I'm chest testing it out. Yeah, yeah, okay. okay. More than all anything, right. I, like just like cuz I, I keep forgetting that like just like pedophile Drake jokes. Do you want me to do another like, one? Like no, do you want me to No, no. 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 Like, Yo, no. Stand on 10 toes. Stand by your okay, shit. I can't stand on business. That yes. was so good. That was yeah. the best thing ever. If the, if the business is she true, <laughs> stand on it. That you left your mom's in the hood? <laughs> Honestly, you know, the Stranger Things joke threw me off because I thought she was making it, when she said the girl was moving things with her brain, I thought she was talking about, like, a girl was in Drake's house giving a head. No, yeah. Oh, yeah <laughs> right? That's not what someone else thought. I was talking about, wait, yeah. did you get that I was talking about Millie Bobby Brown? Yeah. Yeah. But and then it, and then it stopped being funny. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> Thank you. It needs you. to be reworked, though. Like, it, there's potential there. I just think fucking Stranger Things is kind of, like, out of the loop of our minds. But all that oh. shit that's personal to you, that shit was real good. Yeah, Dude, everything that, that was personal I, to the, you. The, the, your boyfriend died, but you couldn't choose the which one? That's that so funny, a, that dude. That was great. Yeah. I liked it, but yeah. then I feel like... I, that was the... That was, like... I've had two of them die. That's... Your pussy yeah. is cursed. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, happy, I'm happy you back to fucking bitches, because, like... These... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it feels like I want to hear more of like, the, and it's like the other thing, but I feel like I want to hear about, you took it and then you went and talked shit about your other boyfriend, which is funny, but it feels like once you bring up something like my boyfriend died, I want to hear more of, like, I'm like, yeah, I'm stuck on more that. To, there is more to yeah, the joke. It's die? like a long, uh, I, you know, I was at a show and some girl, she uh, also mind, said her mind. boyfriend died and I was like, how did they die? And it got awkward. He died of heart failure. Oh, he was yeah. Why'd you tell us that? <laughs> <laughs> Why'd you share that with the class? All right, um... You were funny. I'm gonna get you out of here because you're spiraling. Seven, huh? Seven. What are you thinking? Um, I'm a, the Stranger Things thing was just tough. So I'm gonna go six, but the beginning is really funny. Dude, I I agree, but I'm still gonna go seven. I I liked it. I liked the first half of it a lot. 
Yeah, but uh, yeah, make some noise for Zara, everybody. I think yeah. she's on the leaderboard, she's right? She's on the leaderboard. Uh, yeah, you just knocked out uh, Zag and Brennan, so now the score to beat to get on the leaderboard is a 20. Once again, make some noise for Zara. Yeah, and then I'm gonna call the person I pulled a moment ago. Guys, make some noise for your next comic, Paul Henry. Hell yeah. All right. How many more do we have after this? Okay, so we got four more after this. I want you guys to give them good energy. Someone's gonna go home with three hundred and thirty fucking dollars at an open mic. So you guys, let's reset. Come on, Paul. Get let's fucking, get it. Make some yeah. noise for Paul. All right, do that shit, bro. Cool, cool. Uh, I, I used to think my parents didn't love me uh, because they wouldn't buy me lunchables, and then I realized my parents loved me because they wouldn't buy me lunchables. Yeah, that shit is made to get public school kids hooked on eating prison food. <laughs> Stay woke. <laughs> I, uh, I really love, this might not be the right crowd, but <laughs> I love the Medea movies. I love the Medea <laughs> movies so much, right? Uh, my favorite part of, of the Medea movies is they all technically have the prefix Tyler Perry, right? <laughs> like Tyler Perry's Medea goes to prison as if Christopher Nolan would ever direct a Medea <laughs> movie. <laughs> that shit would go kind of crazy though, right? Medea wakes up from a dream, looks in a mirror, and it's just Killian Murphy in blackface. <laughs> <laughs> oh Lord, I have become destroyer of worlds. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Uh, Brittany Griner, in her first WNBA game back, scored 18 points, had six rebounds, uh, and four assists. Some girl in that same game had five points, zero assists, and zero rebounds. Could you imagine training all summer <laughs> just to get blown out the water by the girl whose offseason was the gulag? <laughs> <laughs> I quit basketball, man. <laughs> I don't know, fam. I like missing presidents used to mean something, right? Uh, like I remember when Obama got elected, I was like, oh shit, anybody can become president. Uh, and then I saw Trump and Biden become president, and I was like, oh shit, anybody can become president. Uh, the Biden administration's a little messed up, right? Uh, did you guys see in the last year we sent the Ukraine $64 billion? Yeah, I'm like, God damn. Can Russia invade the inner city? <laughs> 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 Maybe our libraries, man. <laughs> uh, if it's not obvious, I hate the cops. I hate everything associated with the cops, man. Uh, I especially hate that stupid ass show Paw Patrol. <laughs> I hate that goddamn show, man. Uh, mostly because the name doesn't make sense to me, right? Paw Patrol? Paw Patrol? Everybody knows pigs have hooves. <laughs> uh, I don't actually hate cops. I'm just jealous of them as a comedian because uh, they get to do this thing called a no-knock joke. Uh, and it kills every time. <laughs> Thank you. I'm Paul Henry. Guys, Paul Henry. Hell yeah, brother. Where are you from? How long you been doing it? Uh, Cleveland in like four, four years. Damn. Yeah. That's crazy. Uh, all right. <laughs> 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 no, I'm just, let's, let's get into it. Um, I'm going to be honest with you. I need a little bit more confidence out of you, dog. I'm, it's a, uh, you seem mad, shy, and timid. Word. Confidence and just more about like, more about you. Like, there's a lot of like your observations and just views on the world, which is dope, but like. More about you, for sure. Cool. And then, um, yeah, I don't even remember half the joke. That shit wasn't memorable at all. <laughs> Damn. Um, I'm about to go home. I like the Britney, gr the Britney Griner joke is funny, and then so are the anyone can be president, but they both, they're both they both topical jokes, and the time has passed a little bit, it feels like. The knock-knock joke was a banger. That was dope. Mm -hmm. Thank that you. was real good. Mm. And then, I every, thought the and then get rid of everything else. <laughs> I, I thought the Medea joke could have been funnier if you like perfected the impression. Yeah, if you did the impression before. for sure. Like, yeah, you won't even sell out and do the, the do a good Medea. Yeah, don't do don't do. <laughs> Not for real. Practice one Medea right now in front of yeah. us. Yeah, and don't make her on Prozac this time. <laughs> <laughs> True. Uh, Lord, <laughs> <laughs> I 
have yeah. become destroyer of worlds. Nigga, get, no, be loud for real. Be loud. <laughs> be loud. Yeah, be, I, be right. uncomfortably loud and do that shit. Lord, I have become destroyer of worlds. You just move the microphone away from his face yeah. a little bit. <laughs> See, with, with the Tyler Perry impression, you got to hold black people back more. Try it one more time. <laughs> but this It's not time, even, all right, fine. Like, all right, practice this. Try to throw your voice to the back of the room when you do it. Yeah. Right. Also, say a thing that Medea said. Do a hello, like one of yeah. them. Oh, that's he didn't do that. Then. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, but just make your yeah. your voice go to the back of the room. Uh, Lord. Yeah. There you go. I have become destroyer of worlds. Hello. <laughs> Hell yeah, yeah, like yeah. that. Hell Word. yeah, hell yeah. Make some noise for Zach Fox, everybody. We're going to make every comedian do that, Zach by the way. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Hey, I know you're excited when Childish Gambino come to town. All the black dudes in Brooklyn with their white girlfriends rush to that Childish Gambino concert. It's their favorite. Uh, all right, I'll stop cooking you, man. Um, bro, hit the pen. Work on that delivery. Don't sway too much. The hat, I'm going to be honest with you. The hat is distracting. Your face is a tool in comedy, yeah, and when it. not only are you wearing a hat, you Can't are be your face. hiding cool. it from the light to like make sure the light's not in your eyes. Literally, we're just seeing like this. Word. Use your body, use your face as a tool. Use more. I mean, you can be deadpan in your shit. I'm not gonna change. The, tell you to change the way that you deliver your cool. jokes, but have some confidence when you do that shit, bro. Yeah, I feel that. Five. 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 Uh, yeah, I'll go. I'll go six. Hell yeah. Six. All right, I'm going to go four. Damn. All right, you didn't quite make the leaderboard, but make some noise for Paul Henry. Please come back. Thank you so much. This is comedian number 10. Number 10, guys, make some noise for Mike Figueroa. <laughs> Mike Figs. All right, what's going on, everybody? My name is Mike Figueroa. Just to tell you a couple of jokes really quick. So I'm from Staten Island, New York, which in itself is a joke. So... <laughs> Uh, one thing I always hated about being from New York, it's always like a civil war, like where you're from, like, oh, I'm from Brooklyn, I'm from the Bronx, like, chill out, bro. I'm from Staten Island, relax, but I'm gonna tell you about some hidden gems that are in Staten Island that you may not know about. There's a ferry, it's free. Free form of public transportation, and you can see the awesomest community that you can ever see here. But Staten Island gets a bad rap. There's a lot of racist cops, racist firefighters, and a lot of drug addicts over there, of course. So what I like to do is board this ferry at five, six o'clock in the morning. When I get there, all I see are a bunch of heroin addicts and a bunch of construction workers. But they all work together as a team. So you'll just see just one heroin addict just chilling out. Hanging out, just like this. And what do you see? A construction worker. Tommy, build him a bed. Don't let him fall down over there. Keep him over there. No, 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 no. Leave the heroin needle in his arm. He's going to reuse it for later. Oh, man, so I mean, you're probably asking now, like, oh, this kid's talking a lot about drugs. Does he have a drug addiction? I do. <laughs> it's actually weed. It's not too, too, too bad. But here's the thing. Growing up, you know, I'm 36 right now, so I've watched the progression of how weeds became legal, and, like, I've seen all these new ways that people are getting high. You got topical lotions, edibles, and all this shit. But here's the thing. I feel like stoners are still trying to make weed still feel illegal. Hear me out. A buddy of mine asked me to go smoke with him the other day. It was, like, a Wednesday. So I said, sure, let's go. Goes in the back of his room, comes out with a crack pipe, a blowtorch, and a fucking thing of earwax. For all of you that don't know what that is, those are dabs. If you do any of these things, it will ruin your entire fucking day. A shotgun, boom, straight right through. What bothered me the most is he asked me so casually. It was just like, hey, if you came to my house and I decided to say, hey, do you want a beer? And I bring you a beer. It's like if I gave you 12 shots of tequila and injected it into your fucking veins. <laughs> I have two parents that are super, super religious growing up. It was really difficult having them around. I had a mother who uh, told me to write to God growing up. Jesus, okay. <laughs> that was fucking bad. You think believing in Santa Claus was bad? Try fucking being eight years old writing letters to God about how you just want to be taller. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, my mom obviously was the one that used to hit me really bad. Both my parents are Puerto Rican. <laughs> uh, if you're asking me if I know how to speak Spanish, the answer is absolutely fucking not. I am from New York. Makes it even worse. My mom believed in brutally beating me sometimes, being Puerto Rican back in the day. If we have any Puerto Ricans in the crowd? No? 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 All right, here we go. Cool. My mom used to have to kneel on fucking rice and have to hold up two barrels of water just to get disciplined. So of course that had to happen to me. So whatever happened one day, I remember forgetting my math textbook one day and I come home one day and my mom's like, you need to go in the fucking room right now. And I'm like, okay. I go in this room, there's candles lit, 
she's in a fucking robe, and she just beats the shit out of me right on the floor. So what do I say? I'm writing a letter to God. That's my time. Thank you, guys. <laughs> guys, Mike Figueroa. Hell yeah. Let him hear it. I like yeah. that act out from the heroin stuff. Mm. Yo, grab that mic uh, when we talk to you. So you're gotcha, talking gotcha. To, uh, where are you, from, you said you're from Staten Island, but yes. how long have you been doing stand-up comedy? A uh, month and a half is my second open mic. Oh, Whoa. wow. A month and a half. Make some noise for him. Damn. All right. Very good for second time, bro. Do you yeah. have like, a, like an acting background? Uh, I did improv last year. Oh, yeah, yeah. I, I You're did, very loose yeah. up there. Bro, I'm so Thank glad you said I'm Yeah, like... the act out was real good yeah. on those, <laughs> on the heroin stuff. Yeah. I feel like second time, I'm like, the fact that you're, like, so confident and, like, selling it like that, like, that's tight, dude. Like, that is for real. Um, thank you, thank you. you know, add some jokes a little bit. But besides that, like, the, the vi like your vibe and your energy are very fun. I... Yeah, this shit second time, I don't even feel bad. That shit wasn't funny at all. But, <laughs> yeah. but like, you got personality and you didn't stutter. You were, you fucking knew what you wanted to say, which goes a long way for, like, anyone trying to start this shit off. Uh, yeah, That's bro. exactly what the second time feels like. When you just prepare so much yeah. in your, like, I can tell in your mind you had a different idea of what was going to go on. But, yeah, like, you really tried bit. that shit. Like, yeah. no, I feel it. Uh yeah, I'm, like, that's why I said the heroin shit, because he did that shit, like, they gonna kill, and I was like... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, but don't lose that energy, though. You yeah. know what I mean? Like, keep that. Yeah. You're, you're only one month in. Like, that was impressive for only... That's you said you said second time? Second time. Yeah, yeah, that's so impressive time, for second that's time. Yeah. If you said fucking two years, I would have been like, hop on the Mayflower, go home. <laughs> Get the fuck no, back to Staten that, Island. But, like, for two, you know, you could have you could easily have been doing comedy for six, maybe seven months to get to that point. Yeah. Um, some advice that I have on your delivery no is... No shorts on stage. No shorts? Nah. Oh, damn. You got to work on finding your voice because that legs. shit just felt mad rehearsed. Like, yeah. I felt like you were doing an impression of, like, three or four other people. I felt a little Sebastian, a little a couple of other people. Um, not, also, move the mic stand out of your way. Okay. You were doing a lot of act outs, and that was fun, but that was in the way of you. Just, like, take the stage, get that shit behind you, and then go ahead, use the stage. I like that you tried to utilize the stage. I like that you tried to use your face a lot when you were uh, doing comedy. I think you look at the floor a little bit too much, so there's something to be... Probably thinking too much about the jokes. Yeah, and then don't wear no shorts, bro. Your knees weird me out. Yeah. Really? Is it because they're bigger nah, than everybody's here? I don't know. You can wear shorts, bro. I have, like, huge kneecaps. No, nah, you, you look like you're going to barbecue, but the only thing you bring in is like, children. I just got no cookout shoes. <laughs> <laughs> the only thing I'm missing. I'm missing some, like, New Balance. Because hoochie daddy through. shorts and two-month-old right. jokes ain't enough. You two know? badass <laughs> little kids right. breaking got a window. Got a, like, Under Armour polo with a, like, bomb hat. No, it's okay, bro. You're on your way. You're on your way. You. Do you do you want a rating or absolutely? Oh, oh okay. Here. Of course, please. <laughs> I'm gonna go three. Sick. All right, I'm gonna go two. I'm gonna go nice. two. Three, two, right. two. You didn't quite make the leaderboard, but bro, keep doing it. <laughs> no, keep for real it. though, two months very impressive. Thank keep you. doing, doing it. Thank you, thank you. You're doing great. Yeah. yeah. Almost hit a double digit. Hell yeah. Are you ready for the 11th Double comic digits. of the night? We got two more after this. Someone's going to go home with two, 340 fucking dollars. Put Guys. your hands together right now for Max Lowe, everybody. Max Lowe. Max Lowe. That's me. Thank you. How's it going, guys? Yeah. Cool. Uh, I recently found out I'm gay. Yeah. Some found people on out. the internet told me. Uh. Thanks for cutting off the joke. That was fantastic. <laughs> Uh, uh, I, no, I did. I found out I, I'm not gay, but I, I posted this video on TikTok. Got really popular in uh, queer TikTok, which I thought was pretty cool. I'm happy that it got any views at all, if I'm being totally honest. You know what I mean? Like, I wasn't planning for a specific sexual orientation when I posted the video. I'll take whoever's watching it. Um, it got specifically popular in uh, the intersex community. I don't know if you're familiar with them. But yeah, they, they, they thought I was intersex. They thought I was part of the intersex community, and uh, I did not correct them. I, I let them enjoy it. <laughs> um, uh, it did, the reason they thought I was intersex is because uh, in this video I was talking about a medical experience I went to recently, uh, where I, I had went to the doctor recently, and I got my blood work done, and I found out that I have elevated estrogen levels, uh, which I thought was pretty funny at first, but it turned out to be kind of serious, because the doctor told me, he said, this could mean one of two things, either one, these levels of estrogen would make sense if you were a woman. And I said, you know, not that I'm aware of. What's option two? <laughs> and he said, option two is that there's a cyst on the part of your brain which controls estrogen, in which case you need to go get MRIs done immediately because these cysts can develop into cancerous brain tumors. And I said, okay, I'm a woman. <laughs> Look, if the only other option is brain cancer, I'll take 70 cents on the dollar. That's a good deal for not 
brain cancer. <laughs> I got the MRIs done. Good news, there's like a 99% chance I don't have the current cancerous variety of brain tumor, but there's a 1% chance that I do, which means for the rest of my life I have to be a little bit vigilant. And my favorite thing about this was the way my doctor told me. He told me, he said, if that happens, if you grow breasts. Oh, fuck me. I've <laughs> totally... With the, can you tell I'm nervous? Um, dude, with the, one of the symptoms is uh, growing breasts if, you, if the cysts develop into tumors. And he said, if that happens, if you grow breasts, make sure you come back and talk to us. Which I thought was funny because it implied that I would just roll with it. That I would <laughs> grow a huge pair of tits and be like, ah, that's, I'll deal with that tomorrow. That's, I got to get to pickleball later. That's, I don't have time for this shit. I thought it was all very funny, but my mom got real freaked out. Um, she wanted to relax when we got the, we were waiting to, for the diagnosis, and she said, let's watch a movie. And I said, okay, but let's watch Kindergarten Cop, which if you've never seen it, starts off real normal, and then it gets this one scene where Arnold is stressed out with the kids, and he's like, ah, I have a headache. And one of the kids, for no reason, goes, maybe it's a tumor. And then he goes, it's not a tumor. <laughs> and then I, in real life, looked at my mom, and I went, but maybe it is a tumor. <laughs> And then she cried. All right, keep it going for the mic. Guys, Max Lowe. Hell yeah. Make some noise for him. Where are you what? from? How long you been doing it? Uh, I'm from Manhattan, and I've been doing it a year and a half. Hell yeah. All right, cool. All right, buy a steamer for your shirt. You look terrible. <laughs> uh, yo, dude, the second half of your set, yeah. super fucking funny. I love it. The idea that he said, if I just grew breasts, I would just roll with it. That <laughs> shit was hilarious. You got the whole audience on your side. It was great. It took you a while to get there. First half of the set... I mean, this is, maybe this is just my taste in comedy. I fucking hate the type of comedy that's like, I look gay, but I'm not yeah. out of straight. Guys. You don't got so to say that. You could just go right into the, you went viral in like the uh, the intersex community. Shit yeah, before. yeah. Because I don't what? think you're a part of any community that has sex. But <laughs> but like, if you just cut that fat and go straight to I went viral in that shit like that, the yeah. whole set is just way better. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that starting part is stuff. I, I don't know why I did this, but I, I wrote today. It's a new material and the rest of it. Oh, okay. Good okay. Shit, so I, I don't know why I... Uh, you just I, didn't want 340. Yeah, I know. I was like, it's okay. <laughs> I respect it. Yeah, yeah, I mean, like, to be honest with you, outside of that little tidbit of how it started, that it was really good. Thank it, you. Thank like, you, yeah. I don't really have much notes. It was... um. Maybe, like, you know, definitely add some more punch lines in, like, where you can, but, like... Yeah, but it's yeah, slow. It was good. It's uh, slow. Probably, you know, definitely step up your cadence. Like, mm -hmm. I feel like you're still trying to remember what the joke was, so you try to tell it in order, but, like, once yeah. you remember it, you tell it better, but, like, you, it was well written. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, thank you. I yeah. like how you hold the mic stand. You look like a timid stripper. <laughs> <laughs> I, he is day, he a day shift stripper. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you on a Tuesday, bro. This might just be me, but I didn't know what intersex was, and so I feel like maybe like define it up top. Just the whole time I was trying to figure out what specifically yeah. it means. Just yeah, annoying, just it's, annoying it's, people. it's it's people who have like a genetic or hormonal mix between two genders. God, don't it. define it up top. If, if yeah. <laughs> I've been trying to find a good way to like. There's just so much information front loaded in yeah. that. Yeah, you know, I like, feel the yeah. but I feel like you definitely need to mention some version. Like even if it's like a like a throwaway like it's just like a. Like what you just said a little bit, yeah. but yeah, I don't know. I was a little bit confused up there. No, but yeah. no, like they said, good set. I love the punches. Yeah, lo long setups though. Yes. But overall, good set. Really enjoyed it. Cool. Oh, Thank yeah. you. Uh, yeah, dude, you're fucking your second half. I'm gonna be honest. Second half like seven point five, like mm -hmm. eight. First half with like a like a three for okay. me. So I'm gonna call it a six. I'm gonna call okay. it a six. But good shit. I'm, I'm gonna go seven point five. I liked it. Dope. I'm gonna go six point five. Six point five. <laughs> Did you make the leaderboard? Fucking okay, thirteen. 1920. You're tied. You tied with Czar, so technically you are on the leaderboard. Yeah. Guys, technically on the leaderboard. Give it up for queer baiting Max Low, everybody. <laughs> Max on the low. Oh. And guys, the 12th comedian coming to the stage. Make some noise for Mario Pisano. Who apparently people like a lot. Mario, everybody. Uh, yeah. There was a guy who really thought it was about to be him. He like, it's me. Yo, bro. What's up, guys? How are we doing? Thank you guys for sticking around. I appreciate that. A uh, little bit about me. My name is Mario. I'm from New York. And uh, I realized something recently. Like, me and all my friends, we all kind of look the same. You know? We all look like undercover cops and the suspects the police are looking for. Like, seriously, I was in the train station the other day. Some guy, he wanted to hop the turnstile. And he was just like, hey, are you a cop? Because you know you have to tell me if you're a cop. So then I robbed him. Fuck that guy. <laughs> and then he arrested me. What? <laughs> but yeah, I'm actually, uh, I'm Italian and Puerto Rican. Somehow, I look Muslim. <laughs> <laughs> 
Puerto Rican mom, Italian dad, bodega employee. <laughs> Yeah, you know, I was talking to my Puerto, uh, Puerto Rican mom recently. We were talking about, like, income inequality in New York. And uh, I don't know if you guys know this or not, but for every dollar that a Puerto Rican makes, they put it towards louder speakers. Did you guys know that? <laughs> Can you sleep? I can't. That bitch loves Fabuloso. It's Saturday mornings, you know? Yeah, man. Growing up was kind of crazy, too, you know? My parents, they would threaten me in completely different ways. Like my Puerto Rican mom, if I didn't clean my room, she'd be like, Mario, I brought you in this world and I could take you out. But then my Italian dad would be like, so you're gonna play video games and not clean your room? It'd be a shame if something happened to your PlayStation. <laughs> like he's gonna whack my gaming console. It's like fucking take it easy, Tony Soprano, you know? <laughs> but uh, you know, I watch, uh, I watch a lot of YouTube while I'm driving and um, <laughs> you know, I realized something. <laughs> I realize too many people have YouTube channels. You know, like not everybody should have a YouTube channel. Like there's this one guy named Sammy the Bull Gravano. He's a notorious mobster and he's killed people. He has a YouTube channel, okay? Where he tells these crazy stories and then he looks right at the camera and he's like, don't forget to like and subscribe. <laughs> Click the bell for more content. This guy's 85 years old, he's using YouTube lingo, you know? He's telling this one story, he's just like, so I got this guy, right? I'm smashing him with a hammer. Speaking of smash, don't forget to smash the like and subscribe button <laughs> and click the bell for more content. He reads ads, he reads ads, you know how YouTubers do that? You know, right in the middle of a video? He's telling this one story, he's just like, so I got this family, right? I had them duct taped. I was in the wrong headspace. Speaking of headspace, head on over to headspace <laughs> and use promo code GABAGOOL for 20% off. I'm Mary Pisano, that's my time, thank you. Yo, Mario Pisano, guys, let him hear it. Yeah, hell yeah. That bro, that was funny as hell, dude. I that really enjoyed you that. That's impersonations. That shit was good. Yeah. Appreciate you, bro. Bro, you sold that shit. The writing was tight. The the And then he arrested. Because when you started the, the cop subway story, I was like, ah, another cop subway story. And then you the, you raised it to a point where I was like, oh, that's really funny. I dude, really enjoyed it. you do look like a cop. Why is your face like that? Who takes compliments like that? <laughs> like this one? He's over here yeah. complimenting you, and you're like, Mm. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, the fuck does that mean, bitch? <laughs> no, I don't have not born this way, dude. I'm from New York, you know. It's the yeah, fucking... you, but you really, like, make fun of your parents' accents and you got it down pat. Like, that, oh. shit, that, shit, that shit made it not feel like you were making fun of them as much as you was just, you was just like, this is really how my parents are. Yeah. Like, like, it's like, yeah, like, that type of shit. When you talk about your background and your stuff like that, it could either come off like you were real proud of it or you were real ashamed of it. And it came off like you was proud of it. And that was funny. And then, um... Yeah, like the gobble ghoul shit was hard. The, <laughs> the fuck yeah. It's the first time I heard that, you know? Yeah, that gobble ghoul shit was hard, son. Yeah, that shit was smooth, man. Yeah, man I, don't, I, don't got real, I don't got too many notes. Like, probably, like, yeah, like, you even had good pacing. I don't really got no. That was funny. Yeah. You are by far the most. Indian looking Puerto Rican I've ever seen in Thank my you, life. Yeah, you like, racially ambiguous as a mother. And you look like a cop for real. What do you do? No, man. I work at a gym. You're a cop. Yeah. Cop. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm in fucking sanitation. What the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> what gym do you work at? Uh, crunch. Oh, crunch? Whoa. All right. Hell yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right. What the fuck is happening? Right. That shit went bad. They don't got no windows in Crunch. It'd it be depressing in Crunch. <laughs> uh, yeah? That's his, he's proud no, of No, I don't know. I don't, yeah. yeah. I guess. Yeah, yeah, sure. You ruined my setup to my hilarious joke. I, I said you're the most Indian looking uh, Puerto Rican I've ever seen. You look like... You uh, run a Metro PCS store and you do tech store tech. I fucking suck at comedy. I'm gonna fucking kill myself, dude. Thanks. I'm gonna kill myself. Yo, you know what's wild? He said, "No, nah, I got a good one. Watch this." <laughs> <laughs> He's like, "Yo, stand back real quick." <laughs> Son of a bitch. <laughs> Fuck I gotta me, go. Dude. Hold on. Uh, <laughs> oh. God damn! I can't. Yo, that joke shit. was long as hell. The nigga had two stores, and he was like, <laughs> yeah, bro, like you applied for a small yeah, business loan, and then you went God to the other. Damn! You were in line all day waiting for it. I know it would have been <laughs> so great. And then great. he does the tech. I'm like, Fuck <laughs> me! <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> no, dude, you were great. Um, no, that was great. Great delivery. Great confidence. Fucking fun as hell. Entertaining to watch. I liked it a lot. I'm gonna give that one a. I'm gonna give it an eight. I'm gonna go eight point five. Point five. I'll give it a seven for sure. Give it a seven for sure. So that puts you 15, 23. You're almost at the top of the leaderboard. You just knocked out Czar and Max Lowe. Make some noise Damn. for him, everybody. Thank you. Appreciate it. Yeah. God damn, it would have been so funny if I didn't fuck it up and circle back to it. <laughs> Guys, you ready, for the ready for the final bucket pull of the night? Yeah. 
Let's see if I can find a new person real quick. Ready for some AC? Oh, hey okay, guys, final comedian. We've seen him before. Give it up for Desmond Lee, everybody. All right. Guys, I'm really into history right now. Is anyone else into history? Sick. <laughs> Uh, my favorite time in history uh, was that time when you could just be a little weird and it wasn't labeled autism. <laughs> you guys remember that? Six short years ago that was. Uh, my thing was yogurt. <laughs> I like yogurt a lot, dude. <laughs> like borderline sexual feelings towards yogurt. <laughs> like one time there's a sale on yogurt at my local grocery store and I bought 143 of them. That's so many yogurts that I had to buy a mini fridge to store my extra yogurts. <laughs> uh, but the mini fridges, they were also on sale. So I got two mini fridges. Uh, that's just two mini fridges. <laughs> <laughs> it's a thinker. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so like, there's that kind of autism, right? And then there's like the violent kind of autism. <laughs> It's like the dudes that know a lot about World War II, you know, those guys. Uh, I, I knew this guy, his name was Mark LaFerla, and I could leave out his full name, but I like to throw it in there to be like, I knew him first, you know, <laughs> before CNN. <laughs> uh, yeah, he really did like war, um, and he would tell me about it. I never asked, but he would always tell me about it. Uh, his thing was uh, infantry. Do you guys know what infantry is? You, you said yes, but I'm a mansplain anyway. <laughs> It's, it's the guys that breach the houses during war. Um, and he would explain how they do it. He was like, um, it's really methodical. He's like, they um, uh, one guy goes in, he kicks the door in, and then he kind of falls back. And then there's a soldier on the left and then the soldier on the right. And uh, they all storm in uh, and they zigzag. And they all look at about eye level to maximize their visibility to the threats. Uh, and that's why I didn't see the baby when they stepped on it. Imagine what stepping on like a hot pocket might feel like even, you know, <laughs> except it's like screaming, just like, wah, wah, you know. <laughs> Puts a new sting to the word infantry, don't you think? Sick, dude. <laughs> All right, since I have like 10 seconds left, I'm going to do this. It, it's so dumb, but. I know that's not super funny. Uh, that's just a new bit I'm working out. <laughs> Desmond Lee, everybody. God uh, damn. Des Desmond, bro, are you okay? Yeah, why you keep coming on our show talking about dead babies? <laughs> What's it up feels, with you? It feels like you came on four weeks ago and you were so happy and full of joy and then you cut your hair twice and now you're dressed like this? What's up with you, dog? <laughs> Dude, I don't he know. He had more about. hair? Yeah, he had like a yeah. lot more hair. Yeah, yeah, and then yeah. he did this to it. He was like, I want to look like the kickball dude from Recess. That's an accurate hair thing. Uh, uh, <laughs> what's going on, bro? How you feeling, son? Uh, I'm all right, man. How you feel about how that went? Uh, it sucked, obviously. I mean, yeah. obviously. I'm pretty uh, aware of that, yeah. Don't, don't Eminem eight mile it, bro. Stand on business, bro. No, I mean, like, too many yeah. fridges is funny. I did style. like the working out joke. Did you like you? that? <laughs> Only because that shit was so random. I was like, what the fuck is he doing? <laughs> yeah, it's stupid as fuck. That's some, when, when someone does some shit like that, I'm like, oh, he's more creative than I'm. Okay. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, yeah, it's like, I promise I'm funny. Just ignore the last three weeks of me coming here. <laughs> I'm going to ignore having knowing you is what I'm going to do. Um, <laughs> yeah, that's great. But, um, bro, you sound like you don't eat pussy. Let's say you something constructive, guys. Really let's say hard. something constructive. That would have been so good if you didn't talk over it. My bad. It's okay. <laughs> That's I'll try right. it again, bro. You you sound like you don't eat pussy. You just breathe on it really hard. No, it's actually crazy. I eat pussy religiously. That's my favorite thing to do. <laughs> All right. That's, sure. Uh, that's yeah, makes some noise fact, for cunnilingus. Yeah, yeah. You get throat cancer from that. <laughs> you do give the vibe of someone. He's like, I don't eat pussy because I'm a black king. You're like, what the fuck? That's whack, dude. Desmond doesn't know how to act around black people. I don't know. <laughs> His white mama raised him. Oh no, That bro, is true, bro. I'm just talking shit, bro. His beard is grown off of pussy juice, but okay. Oh, is it really? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you're talking to a real eater. Pool pool. Yeah, I know, a real pool eater. Pool. <laughs> yeah. You, you look like you uh, sweat the french fry grease, right bro. Are we in a bro, roast session? Or look like, like a right. French fry, bro. Shut the fuck <laughs> up. I tried my best. We can be in a roast so session. Cook his ass. Uh, nah. You could try. 
I just, I just, I'm laying off of. You don't the cook, you right just now. eat. Bro. <laughs> 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 nah, he signed up for this shit. He knows what it is. Uh, I do. Uh, yeah, bro. This, um, what were these? <laughs> yogurt. Yogurt, yeah, yogurt. You bought a lot of yogurt, and then you bought a refrigerator with that shit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Don't tell, don't ever tell nobody that story again. <laughs> that, shit, that shit was white as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> you don't be eating the yogurt with a spoon, do you? That's a joke. I that's one oh, of my you, jokes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Because I know, eat you pussy. Don't have I don't. Jokes I don't. As much as you have ramblings, <laughs> it's just you talking into a microphone. Yeah, um, yeah. I mean, we've definitely seen you do really well. Has yeah, he? for sure. You know, yeah, he's, no, he's, he's won, won one time. time. Isn't that crazy? How many times you won this? Once. Oh. Yeah. So I, it's not that I'm not funny. It's just yeah. yeah. Maybe That's I why am I'm genu- sad. I'm genuinely worried about you. What you sad about, bro? What you sad about? What's up with life? Uh, I don't if you know. C- if you can tell us what you sad about and make it funny, I'll give you a ten. Uh, I don't know what I'm. I'm still gonna give you the two I was gonna give you. Yeah, that's great. That's great. I don't know what I'm sad about, bro. I'm I'm actually. It's actually wild. I'm not sad. It's just like uh, I don't know. You just just don't want to be a good comedian. You wasting my time. Is what you're doing. (laughs) (laughs) I'm gonna think. I'm gonna journal about you, and I'm gonna think about what you just said to me, and and we'll we'll move on. I'm I'm giving it a two. (laughs) Yeah, I'm gonna give that one. I'm gonna give that one a. I'm, I don't even want to give it one. I just give it, it a up, zero. I think it came up here with on. a bag of sperm, and that was better than when it would be. <laughs> <laughs> the bag of cum, dude, crush, bro. That yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I'm gonna give it a one, brother. I'm gonna get out of. I'm gonna get out of zero too. Yeah. Okay. What was your name again? <laughs> My name. <laughs> don't tell him. I'm, don't no, tell him. I'm no, no, I'm just gonna think about you, and then when I'm like successful and shit, I'll just like shit on Yo, you. Yo, you, <laughs> you absolutely will, but you will still not be funnier than me. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, Desmond Lee, everybody. Yo. No, we do actually have one. We, more I miscounted. That was on yeah. me. Yeah, it's we normally like, have a producer. Yeah, it's like the winner of last week and then 12 Yeah, more. my bad. Nine. I messed it up. Yeah. We're drawing. Like, guys, who's ready for the final comedian? Yeah, you guys ready? 200 or $340 on the line. Yeah. Please go ahead. And you, got you, no, got you got it. You got it. Fine, 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 fine. Bro. Can I put one up? Yeah, you want to put one? Put one. Has it been here before? Can I see it? Yeah, sure. You can say that. Brian Kennedy, Kennedy, what the word? Kennedy? Kennedy? Brian K, everybody. Make some Yo, noise for him. Raise the fucking energy in this room before the finals. Yo, yeah, Last yeah. comic of the Brian night. Brian K. We're in here. Hello. Um, what's up, guys? You guys been, um, you guys see that Drake, Kendrick Lamar beef thing go down last week? It's like the, I know, it's the number one answer on the board right now for something a white dude to say to you in a bar like this. I get it. But I don't know if you guys realize that's like that. That was the first um, politically correct rap battle that we got, right? If you look, listen back to the songs, there's two guys rhyming about how they're a better person than each other, right? Like at one point in one of Kendrick Lamar's songs, he called Drake a womanizer and a body shamer. And everyone was like, "Whoa, he got him good on that one," <laughs> you know? Back in the, when Tupac was beefing with Biggie, he opened his song with. That's why I fucked your bitch, you fat motherfucker. Everyone was like, he's the man. He won. That's it. He's the best ever, forever. You know? No, I don't know. Um, that, I mean, it escalated quickly, obviously. Um, Drake ended up getting called a pedophile, which is pretty rough, you know, <laughs> for anyone. I, don't know. I think it's especially rough for him, though, because that's like, that's the one crime that rappers have never been able to make cool, you know? <laughs> right? Like robbing, murder, you know, selling drugs. You hear that in a song, you're like, let's go, right? It's pretty fun. But Tupac didn't say, that's why I fucked your nephew, you fat motherfucker. And that was for a good reason, you know? He knew better than that, right? I don't know. I'm not that mature of a guy, obviously. You know, I've been messing. People my age, I'm almost 30. People my age are they're getting married, they're having kids, they're posting online. Um, I don't know if you guys ever seen this, um, like people post their babies online, they like to censor the face on Instagram, like they put a little emoji over the face to cover the baby's identity. I've never recognized a baby, you know? (laughs) Like I've never been out and be like, oh shit, there he is, he's fucking right there, right? (laughs) Where are these babies going without you, right? That people are seeing them and be like, oh fuck, you're fucking Jerry's kid right there, I knew. Or when you're with your baby out, are people like, who, who is this? You know, <laughs> is this the one that you were posting about? I don't know. I don't know. 
I don't think the Drakes of the world either are like, remember that face when they're online, you know? All right, cool. <laughs> All right, that's it for me. Thank you, guys. Guys, Brian Keneally. What is your last name? Uh, Keneally. Keneally. Guys, Brian Keneally. Hell yeah. That sounds like the last name of like, like an animated frog. No, you guys disagree? Keneally? It's a detective frog. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, I can see it, yeah, for sure. I, I stand by that one. Um, dude, I don't know, I enjoyed the set. I feel like we're on the, the end part of when you can talk about Kendrick and the beef and stuff, but I think you had good jokes about it, so I didn't mind it too much, but you brought it up and I was like, oh, this again? But yeah. I will say, you it <laughs> hit, so uh, yeah, enjoy no. the last couple of times of saying those jokes. I yeah. appreciate it. Yeah, 100%. I did not think you were the guy for the yeah. Kendrick thing. I was like actually a little bit mad when you said it. I, I was felt like, it. I, I felt yeah. that. I felt <laughs> that from everyone, honestly. So. But like, you did fucking win me over, and the recognize the baby joke is a very funny joke. I thought that that was great. I don't really have any notes for you. That was good man where are you from how long have you been doing it i'm from long island i've been doing it for like a year and a half almost oh nice oh, okay. okay yeah that, that was for that that's fire yeah that. for real what do you think yeah uh you were very clear and funny uh the tupac uh fuck your nephew joke was real funny that was my favorite one <laughs> yeah yeah like you like yeah the, the the kendrick and drake stuff is a little is already dated but it was a good set like it, the jokes were funny they weren't like regardless of like if people not talking about it, like that was funny that was real good uh i really like that tupac joke that was really Thank you, thank you. Yeah. What are we thinking? I'm gonna give you seven. I'm gonna seven. I was, uh, I was thinking the same thing. I was thinking a seven. What are you thinking? Six. Six? Oh, he made it so you just didn't need the leaderboard. <laughs> We're actually, I'm sorry. That was funny though. Please come back. Make right, some noise for him. guys. Give it up for right. him. One second. One second. We're actually doing pretty good on time. I don't know if it was hot or whatever, but let's have one, one more woman, and then, and well, it'll be it. One more fuck. Oh, wait, wait, what was that one? All right, girl? go for it. Do it. Yeah, one more woman to end the show. And I think this lady right there want to go up there, too. Uh, all right. Okay. I think it's kind of crazy that Demetrius and Austin don't start off the show with, like, the Disney Channel shit. Because they look like they'd be the fucking main characters in a Disney con sitcom. <laughs> sitcom. So it just blows my mind that they don't do that. <laughs> um, so I moved to the South. I'm from Los Angeles. And people there are fucking racist. <laughs> Somebody got in an argument with me, and they called me a wetback. Which, first, I was disgusted. But second, I was fucking amazed. Because how did he know the right class of Latina, or like of race or ethnicity, to call me? I am a white Latina. Um, it, I'm uh, just amazed that he fucking knew. <laughs> <laughs> because, like, I don't really give the vibe of chilaquiles and taquitos. Um, sorry, I'm shaking. God damn. I feel like a chihuahua. <laughs> so, <laughs> let me sit down. <laughs> yeah, but this... This man called me a wetback, and that shit blew my mind. Like, he would have went crazy in Salem because, like, he would have just known off the bat who was a witch. He had, like, <laughs> fucking psychic powers just to know that shit. That is crazy to me. I, but, um, I hate other white Latinas. <laughs> I have to say it. We're kind of like fucking vegans. Fifteen minutes into dinner, you're going to know exactly what we are, and it's embarrassing, and we say some embarrassing <laughs> shit. Do we have any white Latinas here? Or Latinos? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> see, they're not as proud as I usually see, but still. <laughs> That's all I got. All right. All right. What's your name, friend? Hi, I am Vita. All right, Vita, make some noise for Vita. Where are you from? How long have you been doing stand-up comedy? I'm from Los Angeles. This is my second time. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Where'd you time? move to in the South? Tennessee. Oh, okay. That's real so. Right? That's the answer I get every time. Yeah, that that um, that white Latina, that white passion Latina stuff, you should really work on that. That's so there's a lot of stuff in there that's real funny to I, you know I wrote some shit out and then I just like you kind of told it. <laughs> <laughs> right? But that shit but that shit but that shit gonna have going it's gonna give you a lot of material because it's uh it's really is that's rich and you don't never I don't I don't know too many people who talk about that type of stuff, so like that'll be real good. You just gotta keep building it and write it up some more. I'm kind of amazed. At and you. breathe, like you don't I, I know. Nervous. You already on the I'm stage. You already up I there. I kind of just blacked out and just walked up here and yeah. I was like, "Fuck it!" And then it just 
it, it goes a lot easier in the shower than it does <laughs> right for here. Sure. Yeah. I feel like psych I mean, for doing it for so short, definitely like a solid set. I'll say just beginner note, don't don't sit on the stool for the three minutes. I feel like you should be like up and present for it. But I mean, for so like new to it, it was pretty good. Yeah. If, if the anxiety was really busty ass, I get why it you're was beating. Now. Yeah, <laughs> just but like when, you, like my mom used when to. the anxiety relaxes, then you can start. You definitely stand up, but like yeah, just um, I'm, and you roasted these niggas that little. Disney, <laughs> you got us. Yeah, I like yeah. that. I got one for you. Dude, no, no, I want to hear it. I want to hear it. I want to hear it. I want to hear it at all. Cause you remind me of my mom. Cause I'd be talking to her, and she's just on her phone like, you know. <laughs> and I'll talk to my mom, and I'm trying to tell her some stuff, and I'm like, did you get that? Yeah. You just ignore me. I, I I just went over your whole set. Were you on Facebook? No. Looking at some memes, old people memes. Just looking at memes. <laughs> <laughs> <No>. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely just looking at something funnier than what was going on. <laughs> Uh, Damn. Yo, all right. So second time doing comedy, I feel like that was fun. That was good. Yeah. You, made, you were likable on stage. Yeah, you got thank you for hopping thinking. up, dude. All right. Yeah, no. Uh, what are you guys thinking for the score? I mean, it was a bad that? set, but like second time, I don't. I don't want to get. I don't want to be mean. No, I. I don't. I feel bad for Four. the women that I took this. I took away another chance. No, you no, made, no, no. You made no. some fans. You hear the white Latinas in the crowd? Like, it wasn't even that bad. <laughs> <laughs> it was actually really good. <laughs> Four. Four. Yeah, I'm gonna go three. All right, you I'm guys gonna. Are fucking generous. <laughs> All, right. All right, I'm gonna go four. You didn't quite make the leaderboard, but second time, make some noise for. Guys, and who's ready for the final round? Who's ready for, ready, ready for the finals? Finals. Get the Someone's fuck. about to make three hundred fifty dollars. Can you right. read off who's on the leaderboard real quick? All right. So on the leaderboard right now, up top we have Amir Arshad, Ooh, reigning champ. We got then Mario Paisano with a twenty-three point five, and JJ with a twenty-one. The way this show works is each of these comedians are gonna do one joke. There's not really a time limit on the joke, but it's one joke. Stay on the topic of you. It's your one fucking joke. Uh, after that, uh, they're gonna all stay on stage. Then you, the audience, is gonna decide who's gonna go home with three hundred and forty dollars. You're just gonna clap for only the person who you want to win. But you know, uh, be generous and listen to them while they're up in the set. Are you guys ready for this finals? Are you ready? Get hyped for it. All right, coming up first, put your hands together for JJ, everybody. Holy shit, bro! I was like halfway through my Dunkin' sandwich. I didn't think I was gonna be back up. Hey, what's up, guys? Um, yo, I have a girl right now, yo, that, yeah, all right, <laughs> fuck you guys too. Um, I have a girl right now, um, but I'm still thinking about going back on Tinder, you know? Yeah, no, 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 come on, wait, 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 hey, 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 um, I'm thinking about going back on Tinder, not for love, just to scam some lonely Indian men, you know? <laughs> I think you are all using the app wrong. Go chase a bag, but, um... <laughs> Yeah, fuck. Um, yeah, man. Uh, I was on Tinder, man. Bro, I was a typical, like, young, like, fucking dick, man. All I cared about was, like, getting sex. That's all I wanted to do. So, like, like I remember talking to girls. I didn't even, like, really give a shit about them. Bro, I was talking to this one girl. It took me, like, six messages in to even realize she was, like, crippled. Bro, I didn't even realize. She was just sitting down in all her photos. I just thought she was lazy. Bro, <laughs> um, I should have known. Um, bro, I should have known, bro. I swear to God, like the song on her profile, it, it was a dead giveaway. It was keep rolling, rolling, rolling. All right. Guys, give it up for JJ. All right, keep it going as Mario Paisano comes to the stage. Keep it going for him. Give him lots of energy. What's up, guys? Welcome back. Uh, so yeah, so I'm Mario. What's up? And. Uh, you know, I'm from New York. I know you guys know that already. But um, here's the thing, right? I have a car in the city, so I feel like I'm better than the 99% of people that don't. Yes. But when you're Puerto Rican with a car, you look 100% like an Uber driver. <laughs> Every time I pull up to a red light, I got white women clawing at my car like the walking dead. <laughs> They're like, Hector? Um, Hector? Hector Noaki, okay? <laughs> But I'm an Uber. Get in the fucking back, bitch. <laughs> That's it. I'm Mario Pisano. Love you guys. Oh, yeah. Make some noise for Mario Paisano. Keep it going as Amir Arshad comes to the stage. I said keep it going for him. Make some fucking noise for Amir Arshad. Have some damn respect. 
All right, I, uh, I like smoking weed. Any pot smokers here tonight? You like smoking weed? Hell yeah. Uh, I like doing activities while I'm high. My favorite activity is driving while I'm high. Uh, but there's like a learning curve to it. I remember the first time I drove high, I was going in a 55. I was like, I'm just going to cruise at like a solid 60. But the car didn't feel like it was going 60 miles an hour, so I slowed down to like 55. Car still didn't feel like it was going 55 miles an hour. Then I realized I was just adjusting the temperature gauge on my car, <laughs> thinking it was the speedometer. My buddy was like, why is it so cold in the car? I'm like, we're in a school zone. We got to be safe. All right, that's my time. Thank you. Make some noise for him. Amir, stay on stage. You know how it worked. You won the last bitch. All right, Mario, JJ, get back on the stage. Yo, can you pull out that fat wad of fucking cash? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Flaunt that bitch. All right, so the way this is going to work is we're just going to go from left to right uh, or from right to left, I don't know. Uh, but you just clap for only the person who you want to go home with the money. Okay, you guys got it? Sounds good? Confirm for me? Yes? Okay, make some noise if you think Amir Arshak could go home with $340. Yeah. All right, make some noise if you think JJ should go home with the $340. All right, make some noise if you think Mario Paisano should go home with the $340. Damn, it's looking like Mario, you got some gas money. Make some noise for him. Thank you, Reggie. Thank you, audience, for coming out. We'll see you next week.